I know y'all came here because y'all seen the title. You're trying to figure out how to get those seamless pictures that are landscape, but it's in different slides on Instagram. I'm not gonna waste your time. I just need you to get through the videos. Make sure you get that like button and make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new here. I appreciate you. Let's get into it. So we gonna we in Photoshop now. <clears throat> so now that we in Photoshop, what you wanna do is I already got it out here, but I'm gonna show y'all how to get the actual size of the carousel so you can get it right. So you will go to new, then you will wanna make the width 3240. So the reason why it's 3240 is because that's three slides. So if you go over here to the can to the to your calculator or however you want to do your math or whatever, if you did 19, if you did 1920 by 1080, 1920 will be the height. And 1080 will be the width of the photo. To the 1080, you will want to multiply that by however many slides you want to have. So if you want to have three slides, you will go by three. You uh, there, what is going on? So you do 1080 times Thing tripping 1080 times 3 that would be 3240. If you want to do four slides, you would do 1080 times 4, and that would be 4320. So you just keep multiple, however many slides you want, you will multiply 1080 by that many by that number of slides that you want, and then it'll give you the width that you're looking for. But we only doing three, so we're gonna do 3240 by 1350. I already have it here. Boom, now we in here. So first things first, you will wanna go over here to file. No, you wanna go to, yeah, you wanna go to preferences. So you will go to Photoshop, then you'll go to, you'll go all the way down to guides, grids, and slices. So now, where it says grid right here, you wanna go over here to your subdivision and put, I put three, cause I'm only doing three. So now I got that set and all that, we good. Y'all got it set, y'all good. Now you will go over here to the crop tool, hold shift, press C two times until you get the slice tool, or you can hold the left click down to bring up the slice tool, click the slice tool. Now, what you gotta do is section this off. So this is gonna start off the, the, the carousel. This is gonna make these individual slides right here. So you would start from outside, go down to the grid, boom. You got that. Same thing for this one. You go right here. Now, you see that that's overlapping, you just drag that over to let's say 1080p with that W next to it, 1080p pixels, boom. Same thing for this one. See what I'm saying? Remember I told y'all that the, the width of these photos are 1080. So that's why it's saying 1080. So now you got now you got this all sectioned off. Now we're gonna get the pictures. So let's bring in our photos that we downloaded. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna bring them all in. Bring them all in, bring them all in. This is gonna be our. This is a sub picture. We're not gonna do that. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put them all in. Keep in mind, man. This is up to your creative vision. So whatever you feel like you, however you feel you want to make it. Once you got the basics down, you'll be able to lock this all in and just have fun with it for real, for real. But today we learning. So now, the first picture that I had downloaded was this one. This is what I said was gonna be our background. So we're gonna stretch this across the whole carousel. That's the whole carousel. TV in the back. You know what I'm saying outside in the middle of the street. Boom, we're gonna put that like that. So now we can just start adjusting our photos how we would like them to be on our on our on our background. You know what I'm saying? So now we gotta adjust our foregrounds. So th those grids right there is where the next slide is gonna come in. So if you wanted to have this centered to go into the next one. You would just do this. You would just put it like this. Boom, now you got that one. So every time you slide, it's gonna have a little bit of that on the first slide, a little bit of that on the second slide. Okay, boom. So now we got this, we got this photo. So now we need to go to figure out how we're gonna save this joint. So we will go to file, then we will go to save. I mean, we'll go to export. This is how I save myself, you know what I'm saying? So we will go to export, and then we'll go to save for web legacy. Now this is the part where y'all need to pay attention because this is this can be confusing if you're not really paying too much attention or if you're not following me closely. So remember those three slices that we made with the boxes? So now what we gotta do is we're gonna click one. Now that, that you see that that's highlighted, it's not faded. So now we what we wanna do is we wanna change this to JPEG. I already got these saved in, but you would wanna change this to JPEG, put the quality on 100, 
and then um, you would do that individually for each slice. So you will go to the second one, click the second one, make sure everything is the same, click the third one, make sure everything is the same. Then you would go over here, you will go to save, and then you would type in, let's see, we're gonna say this to the desktop. So we'll type in Caro, you know what I'm saying, whatever. And then you wanna make sure that the slices say all slices. All slices has to be selected. Then we're gonna go save. Boom. So now we're gonna get out of Photoshop. Let's close all this out. Uh, let's skip this time. It should be a folder called images. Yeah, so it's in images, Caro. Boom, so now you got all three of these. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go on, on over to the phone. So you see we got all these. Oh, I sent it to me twice. I think I messed up. I sent it to myself twice. Oh well. Alright, so we got all three. Boom. So we got all three. Now we will go over here to Instagram. Then you will go over here to post. And then you will do one, two, three. Now we got that. And as you can see, it's gonna post. I'm not about to post this because I just made this for the tutorial. But now you got your carousel, man. So make sure y'all go out there and kill it. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate you for tuning in to this video. I appreciate you for following me. Um, let's get it, 2022, we out here, man. Let's go.